Hi guys, it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. Because it is the end of the year, I thought that it would be fun for me to share with you guys my favourite products of the year. The products that I'm about to share with you guys in this video are those that I really cannot stop using. I use them consistently and yeah, there are some of them that I really love and enjoy using throughout the year. And for the limited number of videos that I've done this year, you will probably see majority of them in this video because I never really change up my makeup routine. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button and of course, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified as to when I upload a brand new video. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the first product. The first thing I have here is my Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powders. I have two shades, one in number one and one in number two. I tried this and got it off Beautylish first and when I tried it and when I applied it, I really liked it because the powders were really finely milk and not only that, it really does make your face flawless so I have nothing bad to say about it except for its price. So I recommend for you to go and check out Charlotte Tilbury at Beautylish because I feel like because of the conversion rate, it might be slightly cheaper to buy it off there than from our local Sephora. Next up is a foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Powder. I've done a review on it, so you can go and check it out in the card section at the top right hand corner of your screen or in the description box below, I'll put the link. I really love this powder. Other than the price, what's new? I really like that, you know, it's very high coverage and it's very fast and quick and it just makes you look very flawless very quickly. And this is my go-to foundation when I, you know, want to be fast in the morning because I'm lazy. And as you can see, I have hit pen on it, so I'm definitely going to repurchase this because it is such a time saver and a space saver and I don't even have to deal with like wetting sponges and, and setting it with powder because it's all in here. And yeah, you can just watch my review. I don't feel like it's cakey at all and I really enjoy using this powder and I highly recommend it as well. So I would recommend this if you do not have a lot of time in the morning or you want to touch up throughout the day, like you remove your makeup and you want to reapply. I think this is a good thing to have in your handbag or you know, as a everyday makeup or foundation powder. Right, next is definitely hands down like from the start of the year until today I'm actually still using this product and it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette that I got I think late last year. So this is the one where it has like the ambient lighting um, powders, the finishing powders as well as the highlighter, bronzer and two blushes. If you ask me whether you should get this because every year they release a brand new one, I would definitely say yes. It's such good value for money and seriously guys, I've used this every single day ever since I got it and I have barely scratched the surface on this palette so it's so worth it. It's just everything is in one. I travel with this palette. I, I think that it's just so easy because I have a bronzer, I have blush, I have highlighter and I have like the finishing powders. I feel very lazy to use other single blushes or bronzers um, or highlighters even because everything is just in one palette and I just have to open one product instead of taking out so many. So on top of my sushi pillow, I mean, my cat with a sushi pillow. I have laid the top eyeshadow palettes of the year, 2019 for me. My first favourite palette of 2019 or my most used palette of 2019 is definitely my ABH or my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I think I featured this in one of my beauty favourites um, videos this year that, you know, I use this every single day. And I know that it may not look like much, but oh my god, if you see the dust on this, like I didn't like all the like kickback and all that, right? I use this to death. Like it was the eyeshadow palette that I use every single day. Moving on is the uh, Novena palette. So this is one of my uh, um, my more recent purchases. I think a couple of months ago, sometime in September. And again, I really like the colors in here because. Unlike the Soft Glam palette, this one has a little bit more colour like the purples and the pinks and the rose golds that I really like. And I brought this palette with me to Japan on my trip to Japan and this was the only palette I brought. It was just like perfect. 
I love it and I could you, you know like um, add like the purple and my bottom lash line and everything and I just really like the formulations of or the formulation of these palettes so yeah this these ones are, are really like my favorite and my something that I really really love uh, in 2019 I would definitely have to shout out Tati Beauty's Textured Neutrals Palette Volume 1 and I have done a review on it. This palette is one that I also have been using religiously ever since I got it. No surprise for me, the colours that I use the most are Soothe and Ritual. I think those are the most um, easy wearable colours and today on my eyes, I have this palette on as well all over my eyes and yeah, I really like this palette a lot. I think you can do a lot with it. So if you want to know, like, the, if you want to have a look at the swatches and everything, you can go and check out my review in um, the description box or in the card section. But yeah, definitely in my top um, palettes list because I just love it. I think the colours are really me and very easy to use. And of course, the glitter. Can't, can't let go of the glitter. And the last um, shout out of palettes for this year, 2019, it's more of the colourful one and it is my Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette which matches kind of with my dress right now. Blood Sugar Palette is not something neutral definitely, there are so many bright and loud colours in here and that's the reason why I want to give it a shout out because um, you know, recently I've been doing a lot of makeup for like my cousin's piloxing events and they are really, they love colours, they love like reds and purples and everything and this palette just saves the day for me. And there are some days where I feel like I want to be more colourful and more daring with my eye looks and I just want to play around with makeup and this palette just helps me do that. And then the next one I have is a face powder. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I like to apply it under my eyes. It's very soft, it's easy to just stamp and swipe away. It's great, it's expensive but I will definitely, I think this is like my second or my third jar of this thing and I really, really, really love it. Moving on, I have stuff for my brows. These are the two products that I cannot live without, um, you know, when I'm doing my brows. They are the Etude House Drawing Eyebrow Pencil. I got this like sometime in what, like May? April, June, I don't know, but I got two of them and I'm at my second one right now. It is solely the eyebrow pencil that I've been using, I think from June onwards until today and I really love it. It is very inexpensive, um, but I do have to say that it's very, very pigmented so you have to go with a light hand. And to cover up my brows, this is the NARS Soft Matte um, Coverage Concealer in the shade Custard. I love this so much for covering brows, it's just... I love the consistency of this concealer. It's very easy for you to use like a flat um, synthetic brush to clean up your brows with this. It's And it's so easy to blend, oh my god. This year, I kind of got inspired to use more eye crayons. I have been following a lot of Malaysian um, makeup artists like Saeed Dewa for example and there's a lot of other, oh, Fiza Kamaruzaman. And um, I decided to, you know, try out some of their recommendations of eye crayons. And the first one is the Shah Charlotte Tilbury Colour Chameleon in the shade Champagne Diamonds. So Sai Dewa is a Malaysian um, makeup artist and he does his eyeshadow so simple for his brides and he uses this product just to kind of put it or line the top lash line and blend it out and it just gives like a little shimmer to the lids and with a brown like smoky eye look. It's just so nice and I really like using this especially for that reason and I think I've mentioned it in my favourites video previously or like in a, cu a couple of months ago that if you want to use, you want to line your top lash line with like a glitter eyeliner but sometimes some glitter eyeliners are so wet that you know when you open your eyes then you just tamp the top of your, your, um, your lid you can always use this kind of product because you just literally draw it on your top lash line and you're good to go and then the other product that I have is the Laura Mercier Moonlight um, no, Caviar Stick Eye Colour in the shade Moonlight so when I first got this, I was a little bit sceptical because when I applied it on my lids it just I didn't it didn't blend out as how I want it to because it just like I, I was expecting it to be a bit more like sh like ching ching but it was not that ching ching you know what I mean 
But I found another use for this that I really really love and it's like my new look. It's to use this in my waterline or my lower waterline. Instead, usually I don't put any nude eyeliner or black eyeliner or brown eyeliner on a day-to-day -day basis. But recently, I have been using this for my waterline and I love the look. I actually have it in my waterline right now. I, I'm not sure if you can tell. But I love the look. It just opens up my eyes. It gives my eyeshadow look and my makeup look like a little bit more dimension. And it really stays on your waterline. Like it doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't bleed. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't move around. It just sticks right there. So last but not least is lipsticks. I would drop this right now, but... I'm too lazy to go and bend down and pick it up later when it's on the floor. First up is of course the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gemini. Guys, I I think in this whole year, I probably use this lipstick like every day. I, I just, like I have no explanation. Like I just use this every day. I It matches everything. It, I don't have to think so much about it. I just apply it and it just goes with whatever outfit I'm wearing, whatever. I look I have it just it just works and it's so comfortable I love the scent I love the formula and it is really my go-to or my lip color of this year I feel I can safely say that because I know that I use this lipstick so so much to wrap up my 2019 beauty favorites is my lip products from Kubi Beauty and the reason why they made it into my list is because I probably have used all of the shades that I own that they have sent me in PR at least like I've used all of them and I've used them a lot and I have never been disappointed by them when I use them and I think I used them a lot during Hari Raya or Eid period because I was matching it to my eyeshadow and everything and it just works. I like how the packaging, I like the branding of it, I love the names and the formula is great, there's no scent to it which is you know, um, I, I don't mind scents to be honest but there are some people who can be quite sensitive to it towards it but I really like these um, lip products and if it's not if I'm not using Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick I'm either using my MAC liquid lipstick in Lady Be Good which I probably talked about last year or the Kubi Beauty lip products and when, I, when you ask me to use a red colour lipstick right it will be I will choose one of um, Bite Me or Ready or Not so that's pretty much it and that's why this the Kubi Beauty liquid lipsticks are in my list so if you're interested to check them out, you can, you know, uh, check out the description box because I have all of their links and everything in there for you to go and check out. Alright you guys, so that's the end of my 2019 beauty favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. I would just like to take this opportunity to wish all of my friends, followers on Instagram and also on YouTube Happy New Year and I, you know, hope and pray that the next year of 2020 and beyond will be, you know, even better and uh, you'll be happier and more blessed um, with whatever that you are looking for and you will achieve any of your dreams that you are trying to strive for don't give up on whatever you're working on and what you're working towards because you may never know when that time is right and then you'll get um, whatever it is that you need and well sometimes whatever that is you want thank you so much for supporting my channel for subscribing and for liking my videos and leaving comments because it means the world to me and I appreciate it a lot and yeah I hope to see you guys you know watching my videos next year as well and the many many years to come and I hope to still produce you know videos for you on beauty on lifestyle and basically whatever my heart desires thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video and probably in the next year of 2020 happy new year guys and I hope to see you guys soon bye